Hi, welcome to my channel. Thanks for stopping by. Today, I'm going to be participating in a new type of challenge for me. This is a June Fairy Garden Challenge for 2020, and it's hosted by Grandma Sandy. And I'm going to list Grandma Sandy's channel down below in the description box, along with the playlist. So make sure you go and check out Grandma's channel, along with the complete playlist, so you can see what everybody is doing for their fairy garden. Now, I have never done a fairy garden before. This is my very first time, and I really wanted to help Grandma Sandy out with this. And so... This is what I did. I kind of did a bunny fairy garden. If there is such a thing, that's what I went with. I found this package of absolutely adorable bunnies doing all kinds of fun things. When I was at the thrift store and this package, everything that you see on here for the bunnies was all together in one package. It was originally $2.00. And they had it on sale for half off, so I got the whole package with all the bunnies in it for only $1. And so that was just a great price for those. And these were just such cute, adorable bunnies. And Grandma Sandy said for this challenge, we could do anything we wanted from woodland creatures to fairies to gnomes to dinosaurs, whatever it is we wanted. We could take some grandkids or kids toys and use them, whatever it was. She just wanted to see our little fairy gardens. So let me take you in and kind of show you what I did. I added, besides the bunnies, I had these little bluebirds that I picked up from Dollar General, oh, maybe a month or so ago. So I have a couple of those in there, and then I have this adorable little bunny holding her umbrella, which is a mushroom. I think she is just so cute, and I put her right here by this little bench, and next to her, I have this little girl bunny that, to me, it reminds me of her babysitting these little baby chicks. You can also see that I strung some fairy lights throughout my plants here. Because I figured, well, I don't actually have any fairies in my fairy garden. I'll add fairy lights. So I have something that's fairy in there. Here I have this cute little boy bunny. And on his back, he's carrying a baby bunny. And I thought he was just adorable. Down here, I don't know why, but this bunny reminds me of the Enforcer bunny. With his belly hanging out and his great big carrot. I don't know, he just reminds me of the Enforcer Bunny. Then we have a little baby bunny up here who's just sitting up here on the sleeve. She's all snuggled up up there on top of that leaf. Looking down below at our Enforcer Bunny and over here I just added in another one of our bluebirds just kind of peeking down at our bunnies down below. And you can see here that as we scan down, we have one more bunny right here. And this is a cute little adorable boy bunny pulling a wagon full of logs to go make a fire and a baby chick riding along. So I just thought these bunnies were absolutely adorable and I thought they would be perfect for this challenge. So I hope that you like the fact that I kind of went with a little bunny theme for this. Now for my plants, I have my red plants right here. Those are my geraniums. And in the geraniums, I also use a couple spike plants right in the middle. To me, they just add the extra little wow factor to your potted plants. And I quite often try and add those into my potted plants just so everything isn't all the exact same height. And it just adds a little bit of different texture and height to your plants, which adds more interest to it. I love putting those in the center of all my pots. Now, besides my geraniums and my spikes, these green leaves that you see right here, 
These are just some sweet potato vines and I absolutely love the color of these sweet potato vines. They're this bright like lime green and they just really add that pop of color to your to your potted plants. So I love that. And then these darker leaves that you're seeing right here and I'll show you the actual flowers on those. That is actually some carnations right there. The pink and the light pink with the darker red in the center. Those are actually carnations. And I have a few of those in the pot as well. And that's everything that I have in my pot here. And this is just a pot that I plant annuals in every year. I love having it set out on my porch. I do different types of plants in it every year, but I just love having all the different colors, the bright, vibrant colors. And so I ran to the store and just grabbed these plants and decided to get this planted just so I could do this fairy garden. And here I added in these frogs that I also picked up from Dollar General. See no evil, speak no evil, hear no evil. I hope you've enjoyed this video. If you did, I'd really appreciate it if you give me a thumbs up, subscribe, and hit the bell so you'll be notified the next time I upload a video. Thanks so much for watching.